for and that is what they're going to do yeah but we'll have to wait and see on that as uh, we are uh, still waiting on a couple of players to uh, ready up to uh, get this game on its way and uh, we will be going live now into the round of uh, 32 zawi extreme land asia csgo 2016 indian qualifier final game of uh, day one here uh, team fg versus invisible wings whom do you favor rats well, obviously, I'm going to be fair. I mean, the usual norm would be to favor the best team. But again, I think FG, they, you know, play against an extremely experienced team. I mean, if they manage to win a couple of rounds of them, they'll be getting a lot of experience from this. I mean, but if they do beat them, that's going to be a massive upset. We did see Mission instead, you know, losing to Gunpoint, a fairly new team in the, uh, in the circuit. And uh, that was like one of the biggest upsets in this entire tournament. Yep, uh, for the moment though, uh, Tensky is going to be uh, playing in here in uh, CT spawn and Sai is going to be holding up upper mid for the moment. He's going to take that peek towards uh, A shark here and uh, the CT smoke is coming in. Looks like it's going to be uh, mid to be executed for Invisible Wings. Yep, but uh, Tensky is going to be playing aggressively left. The team both however gets a quick kill onto Kappa. Meanwhile, with the left, he's going to open things off at mid and they're all going to come swarming into this side. Scarface waiting there. King Hopes with two quick kills there of Poki in fact. To his day as he's getting very patient, but Ritz, the last man alive, takes two quick kills here, and uh, he could possibly uh, clutch this one out. But it's going to be extremely difficult as uh, Light M and Night are just waiting for him to make the bomb plant. Indeed, man. What on earth was King Oaks up to here, man? He steps things up as Invisible Wings come swarming in onto uh, this uh, B-bomb site here. Bomb is yet to go down from Ritz and uh, he doesn't have time to, in fact, rotate all the way back to the A-bomb site. So uh, he's going to have to make up his mind real soon. He had, he had to take the fight. Oh, he'll have to go for it for the fake plot. And looks like the side of FG playing it really smart, waiting for him to go for the plot. They know he has no time, but Ritz is going to get the first kill onto Light M and now Knight is going to play it really safe. He's going to back away while Ritz searching for that kill. He's got only got 10 seconds to plant and Knight, he's going to come up through his uh, age, uh, to the tongues. Indeed, man. How did this round go all so bad for FG here? It comes all the way down to a one versus one. Ritz though is going to be caught with his, with reloading the gun there and uh, Knight Perfect timing from upper tunnels is going to get the diffuse in for uh, Team FG. Yep, that's going to give them the much needed snowball and they're going to be able to, you know, defend, uh, you know, hold on to this, uh, get some more pistols, some guns and they're going to probably win the next two rounds. But then again, Invisible Wings, even though they lose their uh, T-side pistol round, they always play it extremely aggressive in their second eco round. Yep, uh, we've seen we've seen that in fact time and time again. Top teams are not afraid to go and fall that force by, and in fact, uh, Invisible Wings uh, they're not going to be investing into uh, all too much here. Uh, only about uh, four P two fifties to work with. Yeah, it looks like they might be actually gunning in for that secondary plant and they didn't get the plant in the first round. So if they get another plant, they'll be able to get a lot more money and probably buy up for the next plant. So it looks like Kenzie is going to open things up by getting a quick kill onto Kappa here. And uh, Light M, he's holding this air ramp position all on his own while the rest of his missile wings are coming in through Catwalk. And now the flash is going to be lined up here. It's going to be thrown real soon. And here it comes. Now it's all down to Light M. Will he be able to hold this site on his own till he can receive backup? Yeah, we'll have to wait and see though. He's not able to get that opening kick as uh, Invisible Wings convincingly make it into uh, the A-bomb side. Bomb is going to go down. Three versus four here. Uh, Team FG can definitely still do it here. They have the superior weapons and only pistol to work with. Armor out on middle F only for Invisible Wings. But uh, it's going to be real difficult as Carface is going to come in with that P90. Shutting three players down in uh, A shot there. And Knight drop side Diffuse is going to come in for FG. A convincing retake of the A-bomb side. Yeah, I mean, that was a pretty good round there coming out from Team FG as Scarface comes in with that 3k P90 spray on Invisible Wings. I mean, you know how Sai loves that P90 so much. We did see him deal a lot of damage with that gun in his previous rounds there. And uh, Scar just, you know, showing him a taste of his own medicine there. But because of that second plant, Invisible Wings, they're going to be on a full buy here. Yep, uh, Invisible Wings are going to be uh, 
be buying into this round up onto Ritz here for the moment. Sai is usually the one who handles the AWP for uh, Invisible Wings, so they're going to uh, switch things around a little here. FG though, they're going to be uh, buying in with three for masses and two rifles for the moment. Kit out onto Light and Hoax. Yeah, and then skin. Uh, Tensky actually very low on hit speed. He actually got tagged at by Ritz, and now he's gonna show himself, gonna stay away and deal some damage to Ritz himself. You know, bringing it down a little bit more evenly. He's gonna try to kind of scatter kind of them out as the mid to be uh, smoke comes out of uh, out of the way. Yep, uh, indeed though he does manage to get himself onto a very nice boots there and cap up is going to be trying to open things up here uh, in middle by getting a pick off from Xbox. Yeah, but uh, he have to play it slow here. Looks like they might actually go into this mid to be pushed. And then he is going to stay up, but it's not going to be enough to kill kill anybody from inside of Invisible Now it's all down to King Hoax. So here comes the next part of mid level come in aggressively and drip is set apart, leaving, making this into a 3 on 5 situation. Yep, uh, King Hoax there, uh, the timing not just working out, uh, gets caught out with a grenade in hand. And uh, with that, the bomb plant is going to go down for Invisible Wings. Metal F and Manan with the tag team here, leaving Scarface the last man alive. Yep, and Scarface will take out the side, but Manan with that long range headshot with the AK 47 is going to close things off, bringing, giving Invisible Wings their first round in this game. Yep, Invisible Wings, man, they do manage to. Uh, Pretty much work out their gun round there, uh, easy round going their way on the back of uh, a beautiful mid to be execute. And with that, uh, Invisible Wings, they're uh, looking nice and good here uh, with a full eco being forced out of uh, Team FG. Yep, and now it looks like Team FG might be making an aggressive push though. Mithilep is going to spawn him outside. He's going to get one kill, make that two as Mithilep is there with back of a light up. He's going to pop his head. I'm going to split his head open actually, but Sai is waiting there. He does pick up that rifle and that's going to be really useful. Tensky just getting all that info and he knows he's signaling his uh, teammates to go up a shot here, but Light M knows and uh, Tensky is going to play really safe and he's not going to risk it at all. Yeah, but Tensky is going to be playing it nice and slow. The hoax going in for the aggression here is going to be pushing in all the way down to uh, lower tunnels as uh, the bomb plant though does come in in the A-bomb side. He's going to be just a little too late to the party. Yep, and it looks like Team FG, they might decide to save that. You can see Light up already moving back there. Tensi is going to take the fall as Manan will rip his head apart, leaving this into a 2 on uh, 4 situation. But yeah, it's going to be a 1 on 4. One on four. And uh, Light M, he's gonna save his weapon for the next round. Yep, uh, but the uh, entirety of Invisible Wings are swarming in here. Uh, notably, in fact, uh, Kappa is coming in with the loop around. Let's see if he's gonna be able to spot him out. In fact, he goes the wrong way. So, uh, for all you know, Light M may be able to uh, sneak this AK into uh, round, round 5. Round 5, I mean. Uh, he's gonna spot him out and take him immediately and deny him from getting that uh, AK-47. Now, a bike coming out from the side of Team FG. They have got a pretty uh, nice set of cash there. They could go in for the buy and they will as they put, go decide to invest in two, three M4s of FAMAS and Tensky. It looks like he ca he'll have to stick with that 5-7. Yeah, but uh, Tensky, the only guy without a uh, rifle here, he's gonna have to make do with an upgraded pistol. Ritz taking that shot towards uh, mid doors. There is not gonna connect onto anyone here yet and uh, the Xbox smoke is going to go down here. Scarface though is in a pretty much nice position in CT spawn. Let's see how much uh, work though he's gonna be able to do. Yep. Oh, but Knight, however, is going to get sprayed through that. I think it looks like it was a, a couple of uh, tag coming in through this thing. And now it looks like a push automatic to be bomb site. But Scarface in a nice position. He hasn't spotted them just yet. But Sai is going to get taken out by King Hoax as he sprays through the smoke, getting Sai and Mitha left. And now he's going to back away to safety. Two kills already. FG, they've got that man advantage. Yep, uh, FG here with the man advantage to work with. Uh, having lost uh, two rounds right on the trot here, they definitely want to uh, win this round to uh, keep to at least uh, keep the momentum going here. It is four versus two. Invisible Wings though have two guns to work with. The mass spray down coming in from Lightem is not going to connect in and uh, the bomb plant is going to come in from Kappa and uh, it's going to be uh, a short plant. Yep, but uh, Kappa really low on health and it's all up to Manan and Kappa to actually clutch this one out with the Invisible Wings but Knight is going to take Manan out leaving Kappa the last man alive which is Six points of health. Will he be able to do this? He will take out one. Tensky will fall, but Knight will be there around from a short, and he will finish this round and get the defuse. 
There you go, man. Diffuse is going to uh, come in and FG get out onto uh, three rounds versus Invisible Wings. I must say though, uh, losing two rounds on the trot, I might have expected uh, Team FG to have uh, the confidence low, but that uh, doesn't seem to be the case. Yep. Yeah, Team FG, they're doing quick work here with Invisible Wings, but Invisible Wings, they will not eco just, they will not bow just yet, as they will be ready for another bite. The AWP onto Ritz, though, with that CZ75 and a smoke grenade. It looks like Ritz, he's got that good spawn towards his A longer door, so he'll be able to get the first pick. However, we'll be able to get the shot. He will get the pick onto Light M and back away. But he will take a bit of damage from that model. Yeah, Paul. In fact, light him there a little late on the trigger. Gets uh, ripped apart by Ritz's AWP to uh, start things off here in round six. It is four versus five. Uh, slightly favor of uh, Invisible Wings, but uh, for the moment, they are holding uh, low mid. And looks like uh, there's going to be a couple of spans here. And um, not sure what exactly. Looks like the A shot smoke is going to be executed while the rest of the team they're going to be moving on towards this A bomb site here. Catwalk, you know, the map player is just waiting. It looks like they're ready to make an execute. Reds just waiting for someone to peek through their head. Scarface is going to spray away, but he's going to get taken down as Kappa fires him through. But King Bok playing it big here. Takes out one, takes out two, as Knight will also follow with two quick kills. And Team FG will win this round and stay in the lead with 4 2 scoreline. Yeah, but Team FG, they get on to four rounds here. This is again really important. We have seen teams taking down pretty much the premier teams. But uh, all of those scenarios, the uh, common factor has been the fact that uh, the underdogs have been able to get a lot of rounds in the first half. So uh, let's see if Team FG can uh, keep going on this roll here. Uh, it is gonna be a quasi by coming in for Invisible Wings. They invest into uh, two AKs, a, a Deagle, a Tech-9, and an AWP for Kappa. Yep. And uh, Kappa with this uh, AWP, it's a glass cannon, he has no armor to work with. He could pass down to Ritz, however, but he will be left with only a Desert Eagle. Now that, th the, now that Catwalk has been smoked out, looks like the side of Invisible Wings, they are lining up for the Nips War of Smoke. And here it comes, the two flashes to follow. Make that three flashes, and now they're just lining it up here. Here comes that smoke, and it looks like they will be making a move onto this uh, A bomb site. Indeed, man, and uh, Light M is gonna open things up here and immediately the flurry of kills coming in for uh, Team FG. Mythal F, the last man alive with only two points of health to work with and he's gonna be dealt up with by Scarface as well and as FG hit round five, the force by not working out for Invisible Wings. Yeah, but it's not working well in their favor as the score is 5-2. Team FG in the lead got a pretty good economy ro uh, rolling with them. While Invisible Wings, they'll have to eco as the economy is pretty low there around the 2 2k to 2.5k mark. And they're going to invest in some P250s and uh, a flash into smokes to work with. It looks like they might make a quick rush onto tunnels towards mid. Indeed, man. And there you go. Scarface is in the best position to shut this uh, mid to be execute from coming in. Flash though does come in. He doesn't, uh, doesn't get flashed up. He goes for the spray down. He manages to uh, bring down Kappa, but Ten Steeds here with the crossfire setup drops too. But Sain Ritz, he does get two quick kills here. But uh, Knight with that quick rotation back into a uh, CT spawn. Drops side, leaving uh, Ritz, the last man alive here on the B bomb side. Yep, and Ritz coming in slowly. He has to get at that bomb, but Knight Light up is in a good spot with that AWP. If he gets taken down, though, it'll seem, this should seem very doable for Ritz. Indeed, man. Uh, the peak does come in, but Ritz is in fact made all the way down to a mid here for the moment. He could be in the best possible position here. Spray down coming in is not going to connect just yet, and uh, he's going to be tied around with for the moment. He's going to switch to the peak. Glock, in fact, gonna move in aggressive, gets the kill out onto Light M, but the spray down is there from Knight to put Team FG on six rounds. Yep, the score six to round number nine. And looking at the frag boards here, King Hoax and Scarface have been performing on point, even the captain himself, Knight. Whereas the side of Invisible Wings, although are playing up to their best here, but 
Their best offense is not enough to break the defense of Team FG. Indeed, man. It is going to all come down to how many of these uh, gun rounds can Team FG take away from Invisible Wings. For the moment, though, it is five AKs out for the T side. But Lightem waits here in the A bomb side with that AWP. He's going to get, in fact, taken down by Sai. Sai has had enough. Yep, and now it looks like the XA execute is coming in hot here. Kappa is going to be coming in from A shot, but that Molotov, I'm not sure if it actually connected in there. And uh, it's most, he's going to get taken out immediately, and Scarfe is all alone here. Like, he's going to be holding on to his bike off uh, area. Going to take out Kappa and turning this into a 3 or 3 as Scarfe will take out Ritz. Indeed, man. Uh, middle F here. Uh, gets one pick off though. It is uh, 2 versus 3 still in favor of Invisible Wings post bomb run. And the Molotov is coming in towards the three shot is going to uh, force back Tensky here. Uh, both uh, CTs are really low, 6 and 28 hit points respectively. Yeah, it's going to be really hard for them to touch. Little left is there with the 4k and he's, as he gets 4 quick kills. I mean, that was a good defense coming out of him in that uh, play. Yep, indeed, man. And uh, the money situation now doesn't look good on FG. So, Invisible Wings seem to have uh, reset the CT side here. Uh, and let's see how many rounds are Invisible Wings going to be able to get on the trot from this point on. Yep, it looks like the side of FG, they're gonna go in with that boost strat here as he's going as uh, Scarf is gonna boost Knight up into a shot niche. He's gonna be playing very aggressive with that 5-7. Uh, looks like uh, Kappa might have spotted him out here. And now here comes another mid to be smoke. It looks like there's gonna be a lot of mid to be smoke coming in from the side of invisible wings, but it never it never always worked out for them. Tensky waiting with a pop flash in case if they decide to make that quick push. Indeed, man. Uh, this though uh Team FG are working with only a, only pistols here. Uh, they could do a world of hurt to Invisible Wings, but Kappa is going to open things off. King Hoax though gets a pick off on Mythal F here. Four versus four. In fact, the bomb is dropped on. He gets another hit shot onto Manan, but Kappa is going to get the kill here. Tensky drops rips in mid. It is three versus two. Still doable for Team FG. Yeah, but again, that miscommunication, that them blocking is going to waste a bit of time as Kappa is going to drop this bomb here and making this into a 2 on 3 situation. It's actually very doable for Invisible Wings, but FG with the right execution, they can actually do it. And here comes Tensky, he's going to start away with that P250. And Scarfe is going to get taken out, leaving Knight the last man alive. Sai, he is in a very good position here at car, while Kappa is going to show himself and deal a lot of damage to Knight, bringing him down to 6 points of health, and that he's going to back away and save this weapon for the next round. Again, man, Invisible Wings, most, so many of their rounds they win is uh, more on the fact that Team FG just can't seem to close rounds off and uh, IW are going to be getting on to four rounds here with that uh, bomb explosion coming in. Uh, I would say again, Dust 2 is, it doesn't favor any type. So uh, any uh, scoreline in the first half could easily be overturned in the second half. Yep, that is true, my friend. And we haven't seen how well Invisible Wings plays in the CT side of uh, Dust 2. Especially Dust 2, a map that is very familiar for most of the teams out there in India, being India's favorite map and all. So, Team FG right now on the lead with 6-4 to four against Invisible Wings. And Invisible Wings just need two more rounds to close things off. Indeed, man. Uh, Ritz is going to be taking that AWP peak on to uh, B side here towards the upper tunnel. He's going to take that shot through the smoke, but he's going to be... Uh, Pretty much uh, forced out of there for the moment. Little left, they're not taking it from Xbox, panning away through the smoke, but uh, they're not gonna connect on to anyone just In fact, light up, he can stack all the way down to uh, 34 hit points and he's gonna be falling back towards CP. Yep, he has to play really safe. And Knight is also gonna get a bit of damage there as Sarah uh, is gonna push up and take him down immediately. Knight like, will spot him out and pick his head off as soon as he can. And now it's a 4 on 4 situation here with Invisible Wings. They have the health advantage as Lightem is really low. Yeah, but Ritz open things up here. Where is this Tensky with that AWP? And uh, that is going to give them the uh, B bomb site here. And the bomb is slowly but surely making its way there. Ritz gets another pick off onto uh, King Hoax. And uh, this should pretty much be a done and dusted round for Invisible Wings. Yeah, 2 on 4 situation. The side of Team FG, they will have to save this as their money situation doesn't look really 
really good as uh, Scarface and Light Up, they've only got less than $1,500 to work with. So they're going to save these weapons onto the next round and hopefully they can try and close, uh, you know, prevent Invisible Wings from closing it out and equalizing the scoreline. Indeed, man. Now they, they definitely want to save this uh, AWP and M4 going into uh, round 12 here. Invisible Wings have slowly but surely crept back to FG and now the lead is only down to one round. Yep. Looks like they are going into the hunt and cap out. They will spot out the light and as light up is taken down and uh, Invisible Wing will take away the weapons from Team FG and also get an op. I mean, they, uh, they doesn't decide to go for the AWP. And now the economy for the side of FG is not looking really good as they have been forced into a complete eco here. And they will buy up a P250, a flash onto Tenziki, while the rest of the team. They still decide on what to do. Yep. Uh, if they manage to uh, save that AWP and the M4 into the strong, they might have gone in for uh, a mix by there. But as things stand, they're going to be forced into a hard eco here, investing only into upgraded pistols on uh, three players here for the moment. Scarface is not getting in car, and Mithilaf is going to easily be able to deal up with him. Yep. And now Knight is going to get his head ripped apart here. Light up just playing it. Playing smoke a little bit here. He's gonna show himself and uh, really score on the fire risk, but Ritz will finish him off with that CC75. And we can see King Hook is gonna slowly come creep up here from CT. He will be spotted out, though. He will be spotted by Mithlev, but Mithlev will take, I mean, he Mithlev will take the fall there, but Ritz with the AWP will take him out. And Tensky, he's got that uh, AK47 and he's gonna save this for the next round. Indeed, man. He's, he doesn't want to do with, deal with anything from Invisible Wings as he makes his way towards this B-bomb site here. Let's see if he's going to be able to uh, save this AK as Invisible Wings level things up against Team FG here at 6-6. Six, six. Yep. And uh, yeah, this is definitely going to be a 6-6 six, six score line here. But Tensky, he's got that AK-47 and he's going to be able to carry out the next round. So that is going to be pretty helpful. Looking at the economy of their team FG, and their players, we take Tensky, he won't be able to get that full set of nade. But because he saved that AK-47, he'll be able to get like a complete utility buy and he'll be able to hold the side better. Indeed, man. Uh, let's see how things work out though. Uh, as uh, Team FG seem to have uh, fallen into a rut in the last uh, three to four rounds, they're going to be investing into a double op setup here. Uh, first time in this game. Let's see if uh, that is going to make a difference. Yep, and uh, the double op setup is going to be up at mid. And uh, it's going to be like a double up at mid here, but more focused towards this uh, B bomb side from King Fox as the side of Invisible Wings gonna try up for that mid to be smoke yet again and just spamming away through the floor, trying to deal as much damage as they can. Sac Scarface he's gonna throw out the smoke and prevent the side of the from um, front side of IW from pushing in further. Now it looks like it's gonna be a push onto this uh, mid to be spot here. And light M completely smoked off. King Hoax needs to get the reload. Will miss the first shot as Kappa will take him down. Kappa with two quick kills and this B bomb set is all theirs on the table. Yeah, man. Things just escalated oh so quickly there as invisible wings get four quick pickoffs. And uh, look like they're gonna be uh, taking the lead for the first time this game. Yep, as uh, Scarface, he's going to get taken down by Manan here and Invisible Wings, they'll get this lead. So if they actually win this first half with a 9-6 scoreline against Team FG, they're going to be in a very comfortable spot because their CT side is really, really strong. But if Team FG are able to close things off by getting two more rounds in the pocket, it's going to be an even half and we'll only find out after the pistol round of the second half to see decide who's going to get an upper advantage. Indeed, man. And Invisible Wings, they're going to be uh, looking to win the remainder of the next two rounds here. Moving into uh, the second half, that nade is going to deal a lot of damage to Tensky as well as King Hoax here playing in mid. Scarface is going to be uh, having only a farmers to work with for the moment as the push comes to shove here from Invisible Wings uh, from B shot. He's going to have a lot of work to do here. Yeah, Tensky does deal a bit of damage. Scarface will open things up by getting a clear onto mid left, but quick trade though happening from both sides. He's going to a 3 on 3 situation, make that a 2 on 3. Two on three situation, in fact, as Knight and Lightem are going to go in towards his A bomb side while the bomb is going to be dropped. Yep, uh, they're light years away here. Uh, Knight coming in real fast towards A, a long is going to be picked off, leaving Light M the last man alive here. And Invisible Wings are all set here to get on to eight rounds. Yep, uh, Sai, everybody holding on to their angles there with, with that AWP, he might be able to get light if he decides to make a push here. He will show himself, Ritz will not connect that shot, but that's going to take the to come in aggressively 
side is just playing around and shooting but Lighter will get two quick headshots here but he will not be able to close this one but he does get the kill on to Ritz a 4k from Lighter but no time to defuse this bomb so he will have to back to wave safety but he will damage the economy okay never mind he, I was about to say he's gonna damage the economy of invisible wings but their economy is staying strong there with a lot of money on them Yep, this is the last round of the first half as well. So, Invisible Wings are not going to give two hoots about the number of guns they're going to lose there. But, uh, alright, the Fnatic strat is coming in. The uh, Penta Auto Sniper buy on the uh, T side. Yep, they do buy that Auto Sniper. It looks like it might be to prevent that mid push coming in. So, uh, Red's buying up two of those uh, auto snipers there. It looks like they just, since this is the last round, they've got a lot of money to work with. They just managed to blow, blow up most of their money there. I think around more than $10,000, in fact. Yeah, but, but this this auto sniper uh, cheese is going to be only to try and tag as many people through that uh, mid doors here. They're going to be quickly switching into uh, their standard rifle setup for the remainder of the round, though. Uh, so. The unpause is going to come in here. Let's see Team FG if they're going to be able to safely make uh, most of the players uh, through mid towards that B-bomb side. Yep, and now it looks like the rest, the entire side of IW, they are ready with those uh, auto snipers here. They are waiting. They are going to spam through here, and FG are not moving in. They can see the barrage of bullets coming in here, and uh, none of them, they, uh, they're going to walk away with the strat as Tinsky is going to be there. And he's, oh wait, wait, what has just happened there? Asai is gonna flash himself and take it out, but uh, Lighter will be there with a quick trade off. And the rest of the team, it was a good strat coming out of Invisible Wings with the uh, uh, auto snipers, but it wasn't enough as uh, Team FG, they did kind of read that and they went in a little late. So, uh, Team uh, Invisible Wings, they'll have to switch, uh, switch around with their start, uh, strategy. Yep, we'll have to wait and see though. Uh, Ritz still continues to hang on to this auto sniper and uh, looks like he's going to be the one to uh, lead things off here into the A-box. Like, Molotov's coming in, he's away. In fact, he stands ground and fights Mithilev. Mithilev comes out uh, on top there, but Knight is in a perfect position to drop Mithilev there, but he's not going to be able to get much uh, there done pretty soon as Hoax pushing in through A-shot is going to be uh, figured out here as uh, the bomb plant does go and coming in through uh, CT is not going to be able to achieve much as Ritz with that auto sniper puts invisible wings on nine rounds to close things off here in the first half. Yeah, Ritz man in the beginning he was like a pretty I mean his score was on point there I mean but right now he's on top with four, 12, uh, I think 14 frags and 9 deaths followed by Kappa and with the left side hasn't gone into his beast mode just yet but we might see that change in the second half. Indeed man we'll have to wait and see and uh, Team FG to mount this comeback we need to win those pistols. It's like this is like the 10,000th time we have said this in uh, the Zawi Extremes Land tournament but uh, that is the hard fact going up against a premier team you need to get all the rounds that you can muster and uh, winning the pistol round definitely has to be at the top yeah and uh, the side of fg they're going in for that great boss that uh, gets in the wings as we have that tech nine and armor on tonight here kappa really low on health is going to take a lot of damage and retreat back to this uh, b bomb site and the side of fg they can take their time and they can decide which side they can push for Yep, uh, Lightem still very reluctant to push into the uh, B-bomb side for the moment as the rest of his teammates are coming in with a full bit to be executed here and uh, a lot is going to be on Kappa. He gets his head ripped apart by that uh, rainbow that we were talking about. But Ritz, all the way in this corner, manages to get one kill before uh, Hoax drops in there. It's a four versus three post-bomb plan. Yep, and now the Manan here, he's at the uh, window. He's going to take one pick onto King Hoax here, but Knight is going to take outside. And it looks like Manan is also going to take the fall, leaving Middle Left the last man alive coming in through window. Middle Left will be able to clutch this one for invisible wings, or will he be taken down here by a uh, And he will tap away, but it won't connect as Knight will take him out with that uh, Tech 9, fin finishing it off with 3k. Yep, the perfect start to uh, the second half for Team FG. It's all going to come down to how much more can they do here. Can they level things up and can they get into the lead and keep that lead versus Invisible Wings? Yeah, and uh, FG, I mean, if they do win the next two rounds, they're going to be in a very nice uh, 
situation there as the things will be leveled up and it'll all come down to the gun round. It looks like Invisible Wings, they're going to be rushing in aggressively. Scarface is holding his position here with Knight as they're just waiting for the side of Invisible Wings to show up so they can just deal with Scarface. Knight will fall down. Scarface will also fall down and this bomb has been dropped. Invisible Wings already at a big advantage here. Can see with the team as he's going to stay away and get two consecutive kills, bringing this to a total situation. King Hawks, however, he is going to spam away with that Mac 10, but Ritz really low on health with the AK-47. He's going to go around and see if he can deal a lot more damage. Yeah, for no reason whatsoever. In fact, uh, he does the safe bet there, waits for his ally to rotate in, uh, gets the pick onto King Hawks, and Tensky takes a fall as well. And uh, Invisible Wings, they win that force by their uh, Team FG. They did the first step right immediately. Uh, are pretty much uh, down there on the second one. Yep, and that's gonna put Invisible Wings on that double digit mark in this game. The score 7 10 in favor of Invisible Wings. And Invisible Wings, they are gonna boost themselves up here. A very nice uh, tactical boost coming out of them with that smoke at middle. But uh, the entire side of uh, Team FG, they're slowly playing in this upper tunnel bra upper tunnel area here with uh, Tensky, you know, just slowly creeping up. If he does push in through the mid and sees a boost, he might be terrified. Indeed, man, Saido is playing oh so close here with that boost in uh, mid there and he's going to be able to get one kill. The spray comes in through, the smoke is not going to connect in and uh, Team FG, this force by seems to have gotten off to the wrong start. Yep, and it is not going well in their favor. I mean, I mean, Tensky did get surprised there when he pushed out the smoke and saw a boost and that signaling his teammates, they backed away. So they have to be played play very carefully now as uh, Team Invisible Wings, they've got every side covered. Indeed man, and uh, 7 to 10 is the score here. They do still have uh, two Tech Nines and uh, Kevlar and Helmet to work with. Deagle out onto Hoax. Hoax has been the man who's been stepping up for Team FG, but uh, his heroics have uh, been in vain in the uh, last few rounds. Yep, I mean, he he did get that uh, 4K in the pistol round, and now he's going to pick up that Deagle and see if he can get it onto Ritz, and he gets an instant headshot there. What a lovely play. He can get the second one, though. He will get the headshot onto side. Two Huan Deeks already, but now the double pick coming in from the side of Invisible Wings. He's going to be in a lot of trouble. Plus, Alisa coming in from his left, but Manan's going to close things off and uh, win this round for Invisible Wings. Yeah, pretty much a standard shutdown coming in from Invisible Wings. Uh, like you mentioned, it was a small uh, heroic attempt there coming in from Knight, but uh, it's only a small blip in the large scheme of things for Invisible Wings as they hit 11 rounds. Team FG are going to be forced into another eco. Yep. And uh, tactical pause coming out there from FG. I mean, they don't want to lose to a team like Invisible Wings. They did have that early on lead where the score was 6-2. But then Invisible Wings started coming back up into this game. And now Invisible Wings are in the lead. So they, uh, Team FG, they want to try and win this round. They do have the money. I mean, they don't have the money to work with. But they can make something out of this eco as they all going to invest in that P50 of smoke and a flash onto 10 ski. So uh, it looks like uh, the, going, the match is going to be resumed on the side of FG and you're going to see the strategy that I've been discussing in the past time. Yep, uh, we'll have to wait and see though if uh, Team FG are going to be able to uh, do much from this point on though. Uh, momentum clearly not in their favor. It is, uh, they're going to have to dig deep to uh, even win a few rounds from this point on. Yep, and now we can see they're slowly walking up here towards tunnels and they're going to slowly move in towards... I mean, they're going to get this complete upper tunnel on the side with the ALZ, he's going to get one kill. He goes in for the second one but does not connect on tonight though. He does manage to tag his leg a little bit as he drops down to 73 points of health. And on the side, he's going to come out and get another kill, thwarting the plan of Team FG. And FG, they're in a bad spot. Yeah, but they're just going to walk through the smoke and Ritz is going to slaughter a couple of their players. He does, however, get taken down by Tensky, but uh, Tensky is all the way on the side. And Kappa is going to close things up, putting Invisible Wings on 12 rounds. Yeah, the scoreline is looking really, really good for Invisible Wings, but now here comes the bite from Team FG. Maybe this the plan was just to, you know, go forward ahead. Maybe FG must have been thinking ahead of rounds, not that particular round in general. So we're going to have to wait and see how it turns out for the side of uh, FG. Yep, uh, we'll have to wait and see though. It is 5 AKs. They have a lot of utility to work with though. So uh, expect it to be a slow play coming in from uh, Team FG. But uh, Invisible Wings, 
They have been on point. One side has withstood that AWP. He's always been able to open things up for Invisible Wings. Yep, he has that different kind. He has a way of very different kind of AWP style. It's more like a aggressive kind of play. Rich and most of the oppers, they kind of play it with the patience. But Asai, however, goes in like a beast, takes the kill, backs away, comes back for more, and gets the other kill. That's how, I mean, that, as far as I've noticed, that's how Sai goes about with the AWP. Indeed, man. That is uh, so similar to how JW plays AWP. Always likes to uh, take the AWP to the opponents rather than uh, holding the angle and waiting for the opponents to come to you. But uh, for the moment, though, uh, Invisible Wings, they do lose a player right off the bat. Ritz gets taken down here and... Uh, with the uh, mid to be execute coming in here for uh, invisible, in fact, Team FG Kappa is gonna have his work cut out. Yep, Kappa is holding on on his own here, but uh, they're gonna. This is gonna force a rotated corner from Kappa in the CD base. But Sai is there with the AWP, he could get a lot of pick up there. It's gonna be smoked off the PC. Goes in, takes one down, takes a 10 in fact, but Manan is there with the loop around. And he goes, he's, he'll take two guys out immediately. Yep, uh, looks like that was a fake coming in towards mid to B. They move themselves towards A short, but uh, Sai was there with the AWP support coming in from Manan as well. He's going to uh, finally get dealt up with Sai, gets up from onto Knight, leading King Hope the last time Knight goes in for the quick scope and he's able to. Pretty much deal up with King Hoax here, putting Invisible Wings on 13 rounds. Sai with that AWP, he's completely on point. Yeah, I mean, Team FG, King Hoax, like, he kind of, uh, what's the right word? He kind of whiffed a little bit there when he was fighting Sai. He could have possibly cut clutch this. He did have the opening advantage to Sai. He could have taken him out, taken him out but Sai there was fast enough to react and gets a quick, uh, get a, gets a quick kill on with that AWP. And now, looks like the side of FG is but Ritz getting one kill onto Scarface and it's going to be quickly traded off by King Ho. Indeed, man. Uh, one for one trade. They're going in. Uh, Team FG, they do not have really good guns to work with, though. They have a couple of tech lines of Gilead and uh, an AK and that... That tech mine that we talked about gets immediately taken out of play by uh, Sai there. But uh, Tensky is going to be able to drop with the left here. Goes down... Uh, with that uh, tap away, but uh, Kappa with that spray down drops two players on the side of FG. Knight is going to be stuck all alone here in uh, T spawn. Yep, he does have a minute and 10 seconds to work with, so he could make that quick push onto the A bomb side here. Not sure which path he'll decide to go. If he decides to go A shot, he could be in a world of hurt as Manan is waiting for him. But it looks like Knight. He is going to go towards this A long position here and he's going to be able to get this bomb plant. Indeed, man. Uh, let's wait and see though. Uh, nobody on the A bomb side for the side of Invisible Wings. So, uh, Knight, he might still be able to sneak a bomb plant in, but uh, he's going to have to make this move real soon as uh, Manan is actually thinking about trying to make this push. Kappa, in fact, is continuing to hold uh, mid, in fact, A long from CT spawn. So, uh, this, if the spray down is on point, uh, we might see uh, Knight actually not make his way towards that. And with the Kappa will in fact take out Knight immediately. There is no helmet armor on the, the side or, or on Knight there. So he's going to get his head ripped apart immediately. Yep. I, I, I don't see a reason why he had to take that gunfight there uh, all the way across the map. He could have got the bomb plant down, forced the rest of Invisible Wings to come close for that combat. And uh, if things worked out well in those uh, duels, he could have come out on top. But uh, Invisible Wings go on to uh, pretty much uh, 14 rounds here and one round away from hitting map point. Yep. And uh, the thing about uh, Knight there in that last one, he could have used that flash. He did not utilize it to its fullest potential. He wasn't able to get that plant in. If he did, it would have been perfect. And now we can see Tensky is going to line up for that A short smoke here. And that's going to allow the side of an, uh, FG to actually make a move towards this uh, A bomb. Set. Indeed, man. But. Uh... In fact, the Molotovs are gonna rain in. A shot is smoked away as well. On moment, Tensky though, prodding uh, through that mid dose is not gonna be able to uh, find anyone just yet. And uh, Sai, with that AWP there in shot, is going to pick off Tensky and drop himself down to uh, CT spawn. Yep, and now Carface is the last man alive. He's be gonna be surrounded by everybody inside and he takes out one, but Sai is there with the 5-7 and takes him out, bringing Invisible Wings to match point. <laughs> Indeed, man. Sai, th this has pretty much been how uh, Sai's play has been throughout this tournament. Every single game, he starts off nice and slow, He's somewhere in the middle of the pack and halfway through the match he just uh, pretty much wakes himself up and uh, 
he pretty much runs the entire team opposite team from that point on so uh, invisible wings on map point things not looking all too good for uh, fg here the bite is uh, is all a to say the least Yep, it's something similar to Unholy Alliance though. In the beginning, we did we did see a bit of that interview with Tornado. I mean, in the beginning, it's like they never had a good half. But wait, before we go get into that, looks like the side of Team FG, they are just getting demolished here from the side of Invisible Wings. And FG, they could actually do something. King Hoax with that Desert Eagle could, could get a kill onto Sai here. But oh, it looks like he does and he pops his head apart. And now it's actually getting a chance. For the side of FG, the GG has already been called, but Sai is going to compliment him for that shot. Now uh, Knight, he is going to try and find the head of, uh, of Mithilef here, but he is going to be in a very bad spot as Kappa is going to come around and get the kill. And this game is going to go in the way of Invisible Wings. Invisible Wings are pretty comfortably shut things down against Team FG here. Uh, Team FG got off to a really hot start, but uh, that was pretty much it. And... Uh, I must say, uh, the small light at the end of the tunnel was that beautiful one dig onto Sai and Elon. Yeah, I mean, not just that, even the one digs onto Ritz from B tunnels to the B plateau and again from the uh, upper tunnels to the lower tunnels onto Sai. So, I mean, King Hoax, I mean, commendable performance from him with that one dig. I mean, he's showing how much of a player he is with that uh, Desert Eagle. And another player that comes to my mind, especially with that Desert Eagle, is Sunil Snorlax Suresh. I mean, this guy, I mean, he was a monster back then with the Desert Eagle, but unfortunately, he's not, he's discontinued from playing Counter-Strike. Okay, with that though, uh, we come to a close of day one in the round of 32. Zowie Extreme Land Asia CSGO 2016 Indian Qualifier, but don't go anywhere. We will be back shortly with the, with an interview with Sai of Team Invisible Wings. So stay tuned.